And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Opening day 2022 on MLB The Show. It's the Durham Bulls going up against the Nashville Sounds. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Josh Lindblom. Well, he's a guy that needs to establish himself, just settle in that first time through the order, be able to command your first pitch, maybe a secondary pitch, and not show too much. That will allow you to get through the order a couple of times before having to turn it over to the bullpen in those middle innings. They're looking for this guy to get through the lineup a couple of times at least, limit some damage, and just keep him in this ballgame. All right, ready to get underway. And now the right fielder, Ryan Bolt. Next pitch is outside. On the ground right side. One up, one down. And let's take a look at the lineup singing we're looking at a really young lineup here so not much experience but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days well we're in a golden age of young players i mean these players they're getting up to the majors they're dominating from a young age bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers i mean before they even get to free agency so you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. One down, base is empty. That's in there. It's two and two. Righty to the plate. That one not close. Counts full, three and two. The pitch. And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Batting third, the second baseman, Vidal Brujan. And now it's Vidal Brujan. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Out to short, Terang handles, gathers, and throws to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. End of a half inning of play, so it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Bottom of the first. And our pitcher tonight, Tyler Glasnow. Chris, a sub-3 ERA for him a year ago. Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, the and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. We got three balls and two strikes. Glass now, ready to deals. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. This is Bryce Terang. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Makes the catch and there's one down. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. The third baseman, Michael Brasso. Now 
Now batting Michael Brasso. Steel. And a 2 1 on the way. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ball game. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. And the right hander deals. And it's filled up. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Zips it to first. That's it out. Batting fourth. The second baseman. Kester. Hura. Here's Kester Hura. Man on second, two down. Way Kelsey, high. Two and one. Pitch misses there. Three and one now. Three and one. The right hander no. gives up the two out walk. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. So two down now, and here is Sal Fraley. And a count one and two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss. Get oh, this pitch rides in too far. That got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, there's no hiding in this spot. Base is loaded now, and no more wiggle room for any more mistakes like that. And here is Abraham Almonte. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. One runs in. Another comes in to score, and they lead by three. Well, that breaks the tie in a big way, clearing the bases. Great hands on that swing to take the inside pitch and drive it into the gap for the double. It's easy to spin off a pitch like that, Boog, and you can pull that thing foul, but that was perfect. Man at second here with two away, and stepping in is the speedy Garrett Mitchell. Downstairs, oh, and it misses ball four. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. and It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Next to hit, number 46. The next pitch misses, two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Throw home, not in time. The run scores. And it's 4 nothing. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Two gone with runners at the corners. Here's Mario Feliciano. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So the lineup flips over. Now batting Jonathan Davis. He walked and came around to score his first time up. That misses. And a count two and one. Well, clear game plan coming in this one. Be aggressive against this starter. Try to knock him out of this ball game. And it looks like they're on their way to doing that. Get into the bullpen a little bit early. Could be a great offensive day. So 40 pitches already. Still just in the first inning. Swings and misses, and that is that. Back here at American Family Field, top of the second, here's the center fielder, Josh Lowe. 
The Bulls in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And the pitch. That clips the corner. He's already pitching with a 4 nothing lead, so we should see him be aggressive. Fill up the strike zone. Don't issue free passes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one out now. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. And next is the designated hitter, Ruben Cardenas. And a pitch. Slice down the right side. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. The pitch. That's towards center. Davis settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. That is it. The catcher, Ford Proctor. Ford Proctor digs in now. And a 3 1 on the way. And that one wrapped foul. And it's fouled away. Line drive, base hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Checks over to first, back safely. And here is number 62. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that will end the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here in Milwaukee, bottom half of inning number two, and the batter will be the shortstop, Bryce Terang. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of now his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Now the third baseman, Michael Brasso. stays alive a little tardy on that fastball is gonna have to get it going a little quicker get that front foot down right-hander kicks deals and a foul ball he stays alive That one lifted to left. Number four, gliding back. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. The that front baseman. shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. The pitch. That misses the zone, and it's two and one.
And another ball. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And that one hammered. That's going back. Back some more. Out of here. The Rockets one to right, and they tack one on the board. It's five zip. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Sal Fraley. Next pitch off the play, two and one. And he dodges that fastball. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game. And looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. In the air, out towards... Left center, touches down, that's a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Stepping in, Abraham Almonte. The 3-1. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And the lead is now 5-0. All set for the start of the inning at the play. Tristan Gray. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long Not enough and played Number right four. into the hands of the pitcher. Here's the left fielder, number four. Out to short. Whips it to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the right fielder, Ryan Bolt. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Righty delivers. That's Bolt. Two balls, one strike, the count. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Here's a 2-2. And that's downstairs and outside. You 
could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Now, Cooper Kinney. Bolt off of first with two away. Check on the runner, and he's back in on a dive. Another move to first, and he's back in that time as well. The 1-1. One, one. And a good eye there. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The pitch. That's inside. Three balls and a strike. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So close to getting out of it right there, but this the inning still has down. life. Second base. Digging in, Vidal, Vidal Brujan. Brujan. One and two here, oh, and that one upstairs. Two walks in the two inning balls. already, two and strikes. he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Bounced out to short, and the inning is over. Down. Bottom of the inning. Now it's going to be Garrett Mitchell. And a 1-1. Just inside, off the inside ball. edge. He needs a quick 1-2-3 this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. <laughs> Foul ball there. Two two down. Stays alive. Ripped on the ground a second. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Tough game for him so Number far, Boog. Another hit, and they've just been knocking him around through the first two plus. He's got to get things back on track, maybe junk a pitch that isn't working, or he might not last much longer. Man at first. Next is the speedy first baseman, number 46. Next offering misses, and yeah, that's ball two. One strike. Glasnow picks the first. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Next pitch misses, and the count's full. And that's ball four. They just keep handing out gifts, Boog. 
So are we supposed to bring something? Singy, I think just our presence is the present. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. That'll be it for Glass now, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, number 66. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. And here's the catcher, Mario Feliciano. Here's a 1-1. Flying drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Mitchell around third to the plate. Save! And it's now a six run lead. Back to back singles, pretty good spot, hard and inside, but that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. So digging in, Jonathan Davis. And the righty deals. That one hit to right. And a base hit. The run comes in from second, and they're pulling away up by seven now. Back-to-back -back base hits. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. And yeah, the batter now, Bryce Terang. Kicks and deals. And that one in the air center field. Makes the grab one down. Now batting. The third baseman. Michael. Here's the third baseman. Brasso. Michael Brasso. The 1-1. One, one. And yeah, that's outside. And a swing and a miss there. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. On the ground, right side. And it's through for a hit. Feliciano coming home. He'll score easily. It's 8-0. Well done. Drives in the run. Not a bad pitch by any means. Down and away, right on the corner of the zone. Just a better swing, Boog. Stayed through it and hit it hard the other way. So one out with two aboard. Keston here up to hit now. He's already homered here in this one. 1-1 one, one now. And a strike. First and third, one down. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now the left fielder, the Sal Fraley. The left fielder, Sal Fraley. Here comes a pitch. This one popped up. Ruhan makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, and now the center fielder, Josh Lowe. Well, every pitcher wants a run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. And he deals. Good eye right there.
kicks and fires. And that one popped to short and makes the grab. One away. The batter, the designated hitter, Ruben Cardenas. Ruben Cardenas will hit next. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Whoa, next pitch is downstairs. At the belt and fires. And it's even up. Bounce to the right side. Gira over to pick it up. Two quick Keep outs out. here in the top of the four. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over now on right. it. Exactly That's what he was supposed to do. Two outs, base is empty. And now the catcher comes up to him. Ford Proctor. That one pulled foul. And a one two. And a ball evens the count. And a pitch. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. That ends the frame. And welcome back. And now, Abraham Almonte. The 2 1. Swing and a miss. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now it's the DH, Garrett Mitchell. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball right side. Bruhan picks it up in plenty of time to first. And a couple of quick outs. The battle, number 46. Now at the plate, number 46. Out to center. Low. Drifts towards it. And that is that. We go to the top of the fifth. And now the first baseman, number 62. Next one misses all three. Activity in the bullpen. Angel Perdomo appears to be getting loose. In the air, left field down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Now batter, the shortstop, Tristan Gray. And now, Tristan Gray. Left-hand batter waits. And that one missing low. Out to short and a base hit. 
So a man aboard now with one away. Now batting. Only Number two four. hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. So up next, number four. Left hand hitter waits. Oh. That misses the zone. Two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And the pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Feliciano right there to make the grab. And there's two away. The batter, the right fielder, Ryan. And Bolt. now the right fielder, Ryan Bolt. He's 0 for 1. Bounced up the middle. They take the force out. Out number three. Welcome back. Here's the catcher, Mario Feliciano. The wind and the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. the pitch in the air fairly deep to right field drops into the glove and there's one away now batting the center fielder Jonathan so digging in Jonathan Davis one for two Line to left, into the dive, and he got it! Now got it. And wow, what a great diving catch, Singy. StatCast says that was a near-perfect route, and it had to be. And that's just a big part of his game. I mean, this guy's instincts just seem to always put him in a position to make special plays, and right there, he's done it again. Now, here is Bryce Terang on the ground, right side. Bruhan to first in time. And that is the inning. Back here at American Family Field. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now the number two hitter, Cooper Kinney. Popped up left side. Terang settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one away. The batter number seven. Second baseman. Vidal Bruhan. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman. Vidal Bruhan. The pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. Riding to the plate. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of sliced that one into center. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Josh Lowe. The 1-1. And downstairs. Two balls and a strike. 
Here it comes. Slice the other way and foul. Ruhan leads off first with one away. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. He's got it, and there's two away. Now batting, designated hitter, Ruben Cardenas. Man at first. Next is the designated hitter, Ruben Cardenas. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Good no. eye right there. The count, two, one. And a pitch. This one in the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Well, we go bottom six. Now the third baseman, Michael Brasso. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny. And now two and two. Rudder at first with no outs here. Hard hit, but right at him and left. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Sal Fraley now at the plate for the fourth time tonight. The pitch. And a count one and two. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. The pitch. And that's outside. Had a swing and a line drive at a right field. And that's a base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Abraham Almonte. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it gets by him. Bolt to third. And he's in safely at third. And a run comes in to score. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit. But sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Here's a speed threat. Garrett Mitchell. pitch pulls that one foul two on one out and there's There's the ball Freeland at third Almonte at first one gone next offering is downstairs Righty delivers. 
Out towards right center field. Low makes his way towards it. Pulls it in on the run. Runner tags from third. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. And it's a double-digit lead as they're up by 10. New arm out of the bullpen, Cody Reed. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And stepping in is the speedy number 46. The next offering misses. Two balls and a strike. Reed throws the first. Almonte back on a dive. Next offering is down low. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Got him looking. Good job at damage control right there. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Angel Perdomo. And a healthy sized lead for him to go to work with. Back here in Milwaukee, we go to the top of the seventh. Now, here is Ford Proctor. And here it comes. Bounce to the right. Fires over to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now batting the first baseman, Jonathan Aranda. And here's the first baseman, number 62. Next pitch has popped up. Kira puts it away, out number two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it, just got now underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Tristan. Gray. Two outs, base is empty. And now the shortstop, Tristan Gray. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Makes the grab on the run. And that is that. This one pretty well decided at this point. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's going to be Mario Feliciano. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. One away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. The but that time, a little seven, anxious. Jonathan Davis. Now the batter now, Jonathan Davis, one for three. So a foul ball makes it one and two. In the air, right side, Bolt gliding as he moves to his left, pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now batting, the shortstop, Bryce. And the batter will be the shortstop, Bryce Terang. The wide to kick the pitch. Out to short. Sends it across the first. 
Gets him easily, ends the inning. Back here at the ballpark. We're at the top of the eighth. And now, number four. The 1-1. One -one. Upstairs. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. The throw, but he beats it out. And the leadoff man is on with an infield single. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. So the batting order turns over. Ryan Bolt getting ready to hit. Next pitch is in the dirt. The count now two and two. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And a foul ball left side. <laughs> The pitch. That one blasted deep to right. Way back there. And that one's gone. He'll circle the bases and they close the gap. It's 10 to 2. Does an excellent job of getting his arms extended to get the fat part of the bat to the baseball. Wrists do not roll over. They stay through the zone and on plane. Excellent swing. Next to hit, Cooper Kinney. Slow roller to first. And he handles it himself for the out. The batter number seven. Second baseman, Vidal Brujan. And now here is Vidal Brujan, a switch hitter batting right. Here's a 1-1. One -one. The count is two and one. Still only one out here in the inning. Now fly ball to right center. Almonte puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. Now batting, the center fielder, Josh Lowe. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the center fielder, Josh Lowe. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Two down, nobody on. Good eye right there. Two balls, two strikes. And now two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. On the ground to third. Gets it to first, and that will end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 10-2 ball game. And welcome back. Bottom of the eighth, and here is Michael Brasso. The 2 1. Fouled off. He was late. And 
And that one fouled off. Fought off foul. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. An absolutely majestic shot. And they tack on to their lead. It's 11-2. He kept swinging and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. And now, Keston Hira. Not even close there. Two and one. And he deals. And that misses off the outside edge. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a foul ball. And a 3 2. And down on strikes he goes. And now one away. So now up next, Let's Sal Fraley. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. Out towards left center, number four. On the move to the alley. Tracks it down for the out. And there's two away. The batter, the right fielder, Abraham. Now it's the right fielder, Almonte. Abraham Almonte. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Line of the pitch. To the right side. On to first. Inning over. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Ninth inning coming up. Back after this on the show. Back here at American Family Field. And now the DH, Ruben Cardenas. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. In the air, right field. And puts the squeeze on that. And a quick out number one. Now batting. Catcher. Ford. Proctor. And here is Ford Proctor. Left hand hitter waits. Into center and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. 
That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Next to hit, number 62. That one in for a strike, two and two. And a pitch. This one high in the air to left center. Fraley, long run, got it. Covered plenty of distance there. And there's two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Man at first, Tristan Gray digs in now. Pitch. Two balls, one strike. This one rip, but foul to the right. The two two. That one missing inside. Two outs. Well struck left field. Back there. And that is the ball game. Well, I'm not sure if he expected to get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but helps the team get the win. As you can see, they're pretty happy about it, and they're celebrating his performance in this one. 11-2, the final tally for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. For the Bulls, two runs, six hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 40 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Thank <laughs> you.